Hey, good morning, sons and daughters of God, May 23rd, in soul winning. Matthew 4, 19 says, and he saith unto them, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. Jesus expects much of the youthful soldiers of his army and let it be your determination that you will not disappoint your captain and leader. You are to wear his armor, to be marshaled under his banner and become co-laborers with him in conquering his enemies and extending his kingdom. You cannot betray sacred trust without imperiling your soul. You are to be found loyal and true, obedient to every word of command, presenting to others the highest motive to action and showing them the attractions of the service of Christ. You are to show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Those who have experienced the love of Christ cannot be idlers in the master's vineyard. They will see opportunities for helping others in their steps to Christ. Partaking of Christ's love, they will labor for the soul's of others. Let every soul copy the pattern and become missionaries in the highest sense, winning souls to Jesus. In view of what Christ has done for us and what he suffered for sinners, we should, out of pure disinterested love for, for souls, imitate his example by sacrificing our own pleasure and convenience for their good. The joy set before Christ, which sustained him in all his sufferings, was the salvation of poor sinners. This should be our joy and the spur of our ambition in the cause of our master. In so doing, we please God and manifest our love and devotion to him as his servants. He first loved us and withheld not from us his beloved son, but gave him from his bosom to die that we might live. Love, true love for our fellow men, evinces love to God. Those who are in vital contact with Christ will manifest it in their actions. They will win souls to Christ and bring sheaves to the heavenly garner. Have a blessed day. You are a son and daughter of God.